What I eat during the week for a flat and toned stomach without any restriction and how I love my body at every size. Welcome everybody, my name is Stephanie from Lifestyle by Stephanie and today I'm going to show you all I eat in a week um, to maintain my figure I guess. <laughs> but it's, it's more than that, like how many of you ever looked at yourself in a mirror or on camera on a photo or wherever and felt like I don't like myself. Um, is my are my legs um, too puffy? Why don't I have a thigh gap? Why is my stomach not flat when I do so much exercise? Or I didn't eat that much. Why am I so bloated? Why are my arms like wiggly or anything like that? Or my or your face like puffy? That was always my problem. That kind of self talk that we don't want to have anymore. How many of you ever felt like this? I know I did for the longest of time. Um, there were times in my life where I was really unhappy with myself and with my body and being unhappy with myself reflected on my body. I can show you a little clip of me right now. Um, and I actually never shared this with anyone. Um, to be honest, it was more like a self-talk diary and I never expected to like start a YouTube channel and be like public about this, but here it is. So during this video I will be talking about how I started to love myself and how that in turn transformed my body. It has nothing to do with exercise. I was always keen on exercising and I can I can be the testimony that exercise maybe shapes your body but how it looks and how much you weigh is 100% nutrition and mindset. <laughs> so in this video I'm going to show you all that I eat now in a week and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Alright, it is Monday morning and it was a very sad day because I ran out of bananas. I know, I know, it's hard. So I had to choose a different kind of breakfast. But I want to use this voiceover now while I'm showing you what I eat during a week to talk about self-love and mindset and how I exactly changed my thought process and my nutrition to gain the results I have and maintain now. Um, so that maybe some of you will feel inspired to to go on this self-love journey as well and get amazing results. So um, first of all, I'd like to talk about this whole obsession about a stomach that is toned and flat and how that kind of obsession is a mood killer. Like honestly, if you're in a bikini and you just like, it's just not your day, you know? You really fit and thin or whatever and then you wear a bikini and maybe you're bloated that day, you know? Maybe it's that week of the month and, and you feel bad for it, you know? I did it for such a long time. Oh you guys, the things I did to look thin and fit, um, it's insane. I even like try to wear really tight clothes underneath my normal clothes to like tighten up my stomach. Um, this insanity will ruin your good day. So um, I hope um, I can inspire some of you to just like just go for it. You see all those po body positivity influencers, they don't give a shit how they look and they feel amazing and they look amazing. And the thing about people is, if you feel confident and if you can be like, yeah, this is me, I have like maybe a, li a little bit of a pouchy stomach today or like in general and I love it and you're confident with that, people will see that and they won't even like look at your stomach. It's just like this self-centered focus on our own bodies that um, creates this negative thought process. 
But it's hard, I know, it's hard to overcome, but after starting over and over again, tomorrow is day one, I'm going to do a water fast. And tomorrow is day one, I'm going to count my calories. And so on and so on. So sometimes it worked out and I got down to whatever weight I was aiming for. And then I gained it all back and felt even worse. And it was just like a vicious cycle um, that was strain straining me mentally. And when I looked in the mirror and it was like, no, shame meets self-love and self-love meets shame. And it was a long journey. It changed me. And the three steps that help me lose my belly fat for good and I'm really confident that I won't ever get back to a point where I'm so unhappy with myself is those three steps it's mindset it's nutrition and it's self-love mindset is you are okay who you are you are okay how you look you're an individual and your body carries you through life your body is your experience it shows where you've been and how far you've come and your body gives you life and if you hate your body you're basically hating your life and I know it sounds harsh but it was that kind of realization that I love my body so much and I value it so much because it, it allows me to exercise to meet my friends to experience joy and thrill and um, adrenaline and I love adrenaline you guys um it just gives me so much love and if I deny my own body, like if I say I don't like you, what does it say about me, you know? And that was one big step. The second step was nutrition. Luckily, and I'm so grateful for this, I found a good documentary um, when I was in a really deep point in my life. And I recommend it now here, it was Game Changers on Netflix. And it changed my nutrition or my research path on nutrition to a plant-based one, um, to a compassionate diet. And the philosophy behind a plant-based diet and veganism is to basically don't harm anyone um, if you don't have to, basically. And when it comes to nutrition, it has so many health benefits and longevity benefits. And it gives you so much energy and power, especially if you're an athlete, that implementing it and allowing myself to eat until satisfaction knowing that if i'm on a whole food plant-based diet my weight will just come down naturally it actually did it put the stress out of me you know if you if you know it's actually scientifically proven that if you eat a whole food plant-based diet over time your weight will just like go down and um you will feel energized and fit without like restricting your calories or going to bed hungry or restricting your carbs it's just such a piece of freedom and it it gave me faith that i don't have to be in this cycle anymore and i trusted it and honestly i forgot about the whole process of like i have to lose weight because it just it just i felt so good and i just like vanished automatically and it, it stopped now, like, I, I'm not losing any more weight right now, and I lost 10 kilos, and it's just like, I maintain it, eating sometimes even 3,000 calories a day, I mean, who the hell cares? Um, so, my main focus when it comes to nutrition is, I focus on eating um, mostly a whole food plant-based diet, as you can see in this video, some days it's not that whole, <laughs> some days it is, but it's okay, because your body can, like, and balances it out and I also focus on not eating too much fat not just because I I'm sure that eating too much fat isn't healthy for you and um, especially if it's like saturated fat or trans fat but because it makes me feel tired and I like to feel energized so I carb up and that is a weird term but that basically means I eat as many carbs um, as I like and it just gives me good energy and keeps me slim and yeah that is the whole nutrition part about it now let's talk a bit more about self-love um if you prioritize health over looks it changes a lot same approach with this diet i prioritize my health and i knew i will like clear up my skin i will feel more energized i will maybe even live longer and prevent diseases i just 
switched my focus I, I i put so much like research into it where do i get my nutrients from like the question where do i get my protein from i was still an athlete and it took me that that whole process of like knowing that i get enough protein took me a while um yeah but something that also helped me is to practice positive self-talk and meditations to get like mindful and aware whenever my brain is shifting to negativity when i look in the mirror i'm like oh god you don't look good today steph or like you shouldn't have eaten this or this has too many calories i'm like i'm getting aware of it through meditation through the practice of mindfulness and i'm like no it's okay um my body needs it right now i wouldn't be craving it if i wouldn't need it so i trust my body that it will figure things out for me and will keep me healthy because I'm aware that my body wants me to live as long as I can as well and knowing what I know now for all this re research and part of it I'm going to share with you um, at least my understanding of it on this channel um, is that I, it's okay and having this faith and realizing now over like two years that it actually works out like um, I look fit without like exercising like this week in particular I was so busy with work and um, preparing videos and that kind of thing that I didn't get to exercise um, and yeah I, I'm not obsessing over that anymore because I know I will keep my muscles I will keep my fitness and um, I'll go back to it when I'm when I have time and my body knows that and it's just like I got so into balance with myself and once you work with your body and not against your body you will like this whole mindset is like is shifting you to such a healthier self and yeah I, I can honestly hope only for you guys that you find some value in this what I'm talking about because it was like such a revelation like look at this for example on Thursday I was so exhausted I fell asleep at 5 p.m. and I didn't have dinner um yeah and you know i i bet i was hungry but i just fell asleep so i ate more the next day and it was fine all, all as well i didn't lose weight or gain weight <laughs> so it's all cool and yeah um i really hope that this helped you or inspired you to go on this journey maybe even together with me if you're not certain yet and um, i'll be posting more about self-love and um, nutrition and mindfulness on this channel so if you like this video please make sure to like it and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on anything more and i just wish you all the best and for the rest of this video i'm gonna show you the best meal of the week and that was um, when my parents took me to a restaurant and i had this legendary chickpea curry coconut dream goodness and um, it was such a lovely summer night and yeah anyways um, i hope you enjoyed this video um and i see you in the next one if you like um take care of yourself <laughs> okay bye